What we can decipher from this chart is that 2025 is going to be our topping candle. It's not likely to happen in this year, according to the facts in this chart. Hello everyone, Steve Courtney is back again with his latest Bitcoin analysis, reminding every investor and trader that Bitcoin has a history of shocking the market and the same could happen in this cycle as well. Watch to find out more. Subscribe now, hit that bell icon, and embark on an enriching journey toward financial success. Let's unlock the potential of these markets together and pave the way for a brighter financial future. Welcome aboard. Bitcoin starts a new week pressuring key resistance as the May monthly close looms. BTC price action is keeping bulls on their toes as old all-time highs prove hard to flip to resistance. Can $69,000 fall by June? A quiet start to the week sees Memorial Day in the United States keep institutional activity off the table until May 28. Later, however, macroeconomic catalysts heat up in the form of U.S. data prints, which, as always, form a key focal point for crypto and risk assets. Meanwhile, Bitcoin has its own hurdles to contend with. Consolidation below all-time highs has been ongoing for over two months, and a resolution of the status quo remains elusive. Plenty of optimistic BTC price predictions are circulating, some including a six-figure target for BTC slash USD in 2024, but concerns of a deeper retracement linger in the background. We're in Bitcoin US dollar index and we are on a 12-month candle, which means each candle represents 12 months of price action. We have the open, the close, the high, and the low. The high and the low represented with the wicks, and the open and closed represented with the bodies. Once we set that up on the chart, it's really a simple yet fascinating discovery. We have resistance for three years at our market structure. In other words, where we closed in our price action, right? You can see the body here representing our all time high. You can see the body of the next year candle holding resistance at that same exact level and that third candle having resistance yet again. So every single cycle, the first year, the second year, and the third year are resistance at our market structure. The same thing happened in 2017. The first year, the second year, and the third year were resistance at our market structure. The same thing happened in the next cycle. The first year, the second year, and the third year were resistance at our market structure. What's really interesting is that fourth year is our breakthrough of said structure. Do you see this green arrow right here? That's the move we're in right now at as we speak. It's that same move we had right here. Look, one, two, three, fourth year breakthrough of market structure. Just like this, one, two, three, fourth year breakthrough of market structure. Just like we're in right now. One, two, three, fourth year breakthrough of market structure. That's where we're at right now. We're in this breakthrough phase. What we can also notice is that this breakthrough phase back here in 2020, we had a long lower wick, which means we had a lot of upward momentum. And that's what we did with our all-time high. However, our all-time high had a wick to the upside, which represented right here, further action to the downside. So really pay attention to the wicks to tell a story, pay attention to the bodies to tell you the facts. This will be true on any time frame, not just the 12 month candle, even the one minute candles. No matter what the chart is, the wicks will always tell the stories and the bodies will always tell the facts. What we also notice is that that second candle, right? That second year is always red. We had, this is our topping candle, then the second one, red. This is our topping candle, and then the second one, red. This is our topping candle, and then the second one, red. What we notice after the red candle is we have precisely three green candles, green, two, and three. After this red one, one, two, and three green. After this red one, one, two, two, which we're in right now, and three, which we're waiting for, right? So we notice these simple 
simple strategies, the simple techniques, which a lot of people often overlook because let's face it, nobody's looking at the 12 month chart, which is why you come to my channel, which is why you just subscribed. What we show you here are charts to think about it in a different way. A lot of people are trying to overcomplicate crypto and it makes it feel like every single day you're supposed to be trading in and out of trades, which is by far what you're supposed to be doing. Most of the time you're supposed to be patient and when you understand these patterns that are laying out in front of you, specifically what we're looking for next year, you can be in the driver's seat and make trades that are much more powerful than you've ever dreamed of. It takes the same amount of time to make a $100 trade as it takes to make a million dollar trade. Same amount of time, same amount of energy, same amount of effort. It's just up to you which one you focus on. Most people are focused on these smaller trades with these smaller profits. If you use your energy and focus on these bigger trades with bigger profits, then you will achieve that. It's that simple. You're just not focused on it right now, which is why you come to my channel so I can alter your mindset and get you to think about this bigger term. It's this simple five candle pattern that nobody's paying attention to, right? It's why I keep talking about 2026 is going to be this next red candle, not just in crypto, but all over the market, in stocks and everything else. It's going to be an absolute fire sale in 2026. If you're not starting to prepare for that, you're doing something dramatically wrong. You're focused on the breadcrumbs that are in front of you and you haven't lifted up your head to see the mountain and valleys and trees in the distance. You're not planning for that. You're just focused on the breadcrumbs in front of you. So what we've noticed here, that fourth candle where their green arrow is, that's where we're at right now. If we start to break these down, we can say in 2013, we had a breakthrough. Our breakthrough candle was bullish, right? It was green. We did have a little wick to the bottom, but it wasn't that explosive bullish you would expect, especially early on, until we had our topping candle, right? Our topping candle was just ridiculous, right? And then we went into that same thing again in our, this time in 2020, our breakthrough candle or our fourth one, one, two, three, fourth candle is always the breakthrough. Our breakthrough candle was pretty huge, right? And what we noticed about that is that huge breakthrough candle led to a relatively small topping candle, whereas a small breakthrough candle led to a large topping candle. So what are we showing now I want to get to, right? Because we have one, two, three, and our fourth candle is breaking through as we speak. Now, keep in mind, this is a yearly candle. So obviously we're still in the early stages of said yearly candle. Tilt your phone to the side and subscribe. We literally have seven months remaining in this candle. So it's still a baby, but I'll say this. What we've noticed about the data in front of us is that if we have a large breakthrough candle represented in our fourth one, like we did in the past cycle, it led to a small topping candle. And if we had a small breakthrough candle, it led to a large topping candle. Right now, we have a relatively small breakthrough candle, but we've got to keep it that way for the next seven months to have a large topping candle in the following year. So in simple terms, we have our topping candle here in 2013, and then four years later, we had our topping candle in 2017, and then four years later, we had our topping candle in 2021, and we should have it four years later in 2025. Now, if you say, okay, well, if we have an explosive topping candle, then how the hell is the 5.3 theory gonna stand up to that? Well, this is true, right? Nobody knows on planet Earth if the 5.3 theory is going to play out or not. Literally no human on planet Earth has the answer to that. Nobody knows. What we can do is look at a lot of facts in the charts and understand it. Once again, am I trading based on the 5.3 theory and just blindly taking my money out? Never in a million years would I do that. There's about seven to eight charts that I trust to predict the next top of the market. I'm going to use those in tandem with each other and look for confluence in the market. And usually there's a very, very strong bearish divergence that will form near the tops of the market. I will look at those attributes and act accordingly to my strategy. 
Never would I blindly take money out. But what we can decipher from this chart is that 2025 is going to be our topping candle. It's not likely to happen in this year, according to the facts in this chart. According to the facts in a lot of charts, it's saying 2025. But nobody knows what the price will be in 2025. What we can see is that usually these topping candles are pretty monumental outside of the outlier from our past market cycle, which was the smallest topping candle we've had in history along with a wick to the upside representing huge profit taking at precisely the level we're at now. So when you add all of that up, here's what you should be doing now. Once again, it's more risky to be out of Bitcoin than in Bitcoin. Now you're starting to understand this is a bull run. I kept warning you and everyone was getting very fearful of what's happening and everyone was projecting a lot lower numbers. You know, we simply looked at the stochastic RSI cross in the weekly. And we've been preparing you that for, for that for you for maybe five, six, seven weeks. And we said, once this crosses, there's going to be a lot of movement in the market. And that's the only thing that could take us above 73. We must have said that in seven, eight, nine videos. And it's more risky to be out of Bitcoin than in Bitcoin. Now you understand, right? You want to have longer term positions and you want to start planning for 2025 and the rest of this year and especially for 2026. 2026 is going to be the biggest fire sale of your life. If you somehow miss the fire sale in 2022, we're gonna have another in 2026. But once again, just like 2022, everybody said it was gonna go a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot lower, and it never does. You need to understand how these things work and start to plan for 2025 and more planning for 2026. Thank you for watching the interview highlights of Steve Courtney. If you enjoy this highlight video, please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content. Thank you.